recording just for you to show you how to um, add new attorneys into the EACBA website. So you click here where you want to be. You'd probably start at the last one. Hit return. You're where you want to be. And we are going to go ahead and just start. So the next one is last name of Dallas, Scott. Hit shift, return. It keeps you from making a complete paragraph, but puts you on a line right below. And the specialty for Scott is, oh gosh, a lot of them, business, litigation, corporation, partnership, LLC, intellectual. Uh, let me double check and see what this says. Intellectual property and copyright trademark. Shift return. And his is the law office of Scott R. Dallas. Okay, so let's put in his address next. 1808 6th Street, Berkeley, California, 94710. Nine, uh, nine, okay, so we have the first three lines of what will be four lines of content in here. Let's do a couple things. Let's make that bold. We're making the names bold. We're making the word specialty bold, beginning with the uh, semicolon. And now we need to add the link to the law office. And his law office is not listed on our list, but we're going to look for it by looking for it. Uh, Scott R. Dallas, attorney. I have been checking each of the uh, links because you don't want something going to the wrong. Alameda County, this might be him. It came up. Let's see, law office of Scott R. Dallas and your local attorney at law. And... Um, Looks like this is him. So I'm going to copy that, Command C, and right here, where his name is, including the comma, I put in that. I put, I go to the that uh, link symbol there. Put Command V, and I go to this little line here and hit apply with the arrow. So we now have the first three lines all done and it's linked to his website. To do the last two lines, which include the last line I should say, which includes the phone number and the email, and these are linked with uh, hyperlinks that allow the the user to just click on it from a cell phone and call or to click on it and make an e and email the people immediately. So it's a nice, uh, convenient thing for users to add. So let's add that last bit. And to do that, we actually go into the text editor. Because you can't put coding, that's part of hyperlinks, in the visual editor of the page. So let's go here. We got, we'll copy the last one from the previous um, attorney, Command C. And right here, for the return, and v. So we know this is not the correct phone number or the correct email, but we have everything else here. Let me explain what this coding means. So this makes that phone bold, okay? And here's the actual link of the hyperlink text. It always begins with a greater than a href equals. Then you have quote marks. And this tells the computer that is the telephone number you're going to call. Semi uh, and then a little colon and then a phone number into quotes. And then this 
uh, symbol, this greater than or less than symbol, uh, works to close off the initial uh, link. This right here is the actual number that appears and shows on the web page. And this, this hashtag, this slash here, closes off the hyperlink entirely. Similarly, for the email address, we have that strong and makes that bold. And then the end of the bold is the slash. And then again, you have that A, H, R, E, F equals, and you have the quote. Only for email, it's mail to, and then the colon and then the email address, and then the end of the email address, and then you actually type in the email address and end the hyperlink, and that's what makes the hyperlink. But you don't have to really remember all that completely because you can just copy those that content and paste it. Now we are going to change the actual email address in this because this is, of course, a new listing for Scott Dallas. So his number is 510. Oops, watch your type in there. Let's see, 649. Six, zero, zero. And notice I left a quote in here in this first section of this hyperlink from the tell through the end of the phone number is a quote. There's the quotes around that. Now let's copy this, leaving the quote in place, and just replace the following number, which is the actual number that is actually seen when you look at the website. So the hidden number, hidden by code, and the number that's actually seen that users can, can read. We'll do the same thing with the email address. And his email is scott at scottdallaslaw.com. So, scott at scottdallaslaw.com. And then I'm going to copy this email address, Command C, and paste it in the part that's actually visible, Command V. And so you've done that. We're now going to update. Hit Update. Now, let's go back into the Visual Editor, which is where you're going to do most of your work. Other than that coding, that's where you're going to work. Let me scroll down here to Dallas Scott. And we have him. It all looks good. It's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Let's copy all this content, just like that. Okay, you copied that. Now we go back to view the page. Let me scroll down, and here he is. That's hyperlinked to go to his website. That's hyperlinked to make a phone call, and this is hyperlinked to um, uh, email him. So let's put this into Business Litigation, Corporation Partnership LLC, Intellectual Property, and Copyright Trademark. Okay, so let's go find those pages. And we'll go up here, Find an Attorney, Business Litigation and Transactions. That will be the first listing for Scott Dallas. Edit Page. Scroll up, not too far. Go to the last edition, hit return, command V, update this page. Well, you've got the business litigation. You still have, you still have Corporation Partnership LLC to do. And notice I'm working with the visual editor here, not the text editor. Go back to view page. find that. Corporations, Partnerships, LLC. Edit page. Scroll down. B. So we got 
Corporation Parent of LLC. We still have Intellectual Property, Copyright, and Trademark. Update this page. Again, go to View Page. Let's find our Intellectual Property. Ah, well, here it is. Intellectual Property, Copyright, Trademark, and Patent. Edit page. And there's not actually, he's the very first person in there. Go up there, Command V. And update. And don't worry when um, this, sometimes the line wraps, as you can see here, this is wrapping. Because once you look at the page, you'll see it actually goes all the way across. It's only doing that because in our text editor, it's um, not quite that wide. So anyway, that's it. You have learned a new thing. And uh, it's been great working with you, Stacy. Bye-bye.